Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Defense of the Patients, a Friday episode of Defense of the Patients. A new day has I'm dawned. I'm wearing a Hawaiian t-shirt. <laughs> it is warm. It is warm. <laughs> Did you turn the heater off? Uh, I don't know. You we'll hear it after he- the music goes away. You should turn away. the heater off before. Okay. All right, here right. we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Nice. Yeah. I noticed you turned it off because uh, the lights didn't aren't dim anymore. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We don't even need the heater anymore. It feels uh, good around here no, lately. No, we didn't do, because you left the heater off. Uh, uh, did I? Yeah, and it was uh, like Wednesday? 43 good, degrees. Thank God. Here. I so came out here, here early in the morning. It was 43 degrees. Nah, I, and I was like, damn you, Denny. You're a goddamn pansy. That's what you are. Uh, 43 degrees is not a comfortable temperature to uh, play Dota in. Yeah, sure. All right. And so I warmed up with bots <laughs> as I warmed up yeah. in the studio. It, it worked great. So, uh, so I'm Syphus. That's Roland. We're... Your Me. Dota 2 Friday hosts today. Friday, yep. We switched it on up, uh, and uh, we totally regret it. We'll probably be, we'll <laughs> no, probably I like be it. reverting. Because now I have so much Dota <laughs> fresh on my mind, and man, I've been playing a, a fuck And a Dota. whole week's worth of uh, content to kind of digest Yeah, what happened. Um, God, I recorded more than i ever have in one I week know. this sorry, week i'm sorry dude <laughs> what did, i probably recorded six hours uh on my... yeah because two hours it was like a two hour 40 minute episode right two um, hour uh, four, so two and a half hour for patch note uh proudland power spike oh two, yeah that one ran really long, long too so probably four hours there and then oh four and, and a half hours. tuesday q a ran long this so week too I probably five and a half hours before recording this show i've been on air yeah. this week so damn just on the mic, and that doesn't like. And then there's a bunch of background work yeah. be- uh, to do beforehand. So. Well, I mean, it was an exciting week. So we had, uh, of course, Proudland Power Spikes Part Two came out. For those who are listening here on Friday, and you're going, "Wait, where's Proudland?" Well, it's on Mondays. Go back and yeah. listen to Monday if you didn't. Listen and you to got back to back Proudlands. You got Proudland yeah. Power Spikes One last Friday, and Proudland Power Spikes Two. That was a nice Monday. way to bookend those. Yeah, it was. Um, and uh, we will definitely be doing Power Spikes more in the future. Some heroes have changed, obviously, with 7.02, yeah. but. Uh, we've wrapped up power spikes for now and we'll, we'll move on to different topics as we do. Uh, and then the Tuesday Q and a was really successful. I, for those who are enjoying that and tuning in, I think we're going to start trying to hold to a strict hour on that show. Um, mm-hmm. just because it's it and, and then probably encouraging folks that didn't get through to come back next week and we'll cue you at the top of the list for uh, live questioning. Um, it's, There's a lot of shit that's about to go down. Yeah, as as things take shape here. Um, being... Yeah, things have really, uh, like, you know, when you put jello in the fridge, it's runny, and then when you wait a little while, it comes out as jello, <laughs> and it's nice and firm. And No, it's been an exciting week. So we yeah. now we're, we're working on some equipment upgrades so that we can start bringing more shows to you live. Uh, we are, uh, after we record the show, Roland and I are going to sit down and price a couple of green screen kits. Uh, for those that want to know how the sausage is made around here, you know, uh, gonna ship those out to Ursi and Proud so they can start uh, doing a little more live. Uh, try to probably upgrade a little uh, audio quality. We will be officially hiring our first dot employee. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is exciting. We we'll, we will announce that when uh, we do. When the time comes, but yeah. we will have uh, the first person, uh, somebody that we all love. Uh, at working uh, specifically on defense of the patients and being paid to work. It's for exciting defense times. Of patients. Yeah. Yes. So uh, and our we're first doing investment it. in us as a company and we, yep we yeah. had a, we had an investor, um, which was cool. It's all cool. So, but I'm, we're not going to bore you about all the mm-hmm. behind the scenes business dealings. Uh, okay, so we had uh, we covered Monday, covered Tuesday, Wednesday. Of course, we had the Dot Pro Show. By the way, I know I've been like. I, I know I've been talking your ear off it's about a, it the last hour. They haven't heard you tell me it seven uh, times. Ah, the best fucking Dota games I've ever seen were th- ever, ever seen. I, I'll even go that far. Because My juggernaut it was... in the in-house last night that you cast? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I Hey, I beat some... No, it was a solid, I, it was yeah. solid, it was, it was a solid play. I, I went back and watched, and you guys did not give me nearly enough coverage. Uh, yeah, yeah, we gave you ample coverage. The, no, Chikiro <laughs> threw an ice path at me, and uh, I like spun at the mm-hmm. perfect time and killed him, dude. And like, I wish it would have been caught. I'm sorry. Yeah, and I, like I you terrible. guys watched it, I got it, to but see you, you like... Omni Slash at the worst time imaginable. I do remember that. That was to save my life. If you're referring to Darkseer, 
No, not the Dark Seer. Uh, I had then there that... was a time where you were chasing somebody, and it only worked out because the rest of the team wound up like going, "Oh shit!" and then coming back for you because you omni slash. They told me to. Oh, right. I, I was that team. I didn't it say like they a were word. running the other way. No, I didn't say bit. a fucking word that game. Chilled and uh, another guy, a dead dead guy, dead wing. I think is what oh, his okay. name is. Yeah, dead wing. Um, he uh, he was like I was I just was bossed around the whole game good good like if you notice the pinging at the start of that game they were telling me where to stand to get the bounty rune and i was like guys i appreciate the micromanagement <laughs> but i can i can stand you, think you can handle that one on I your think own i can handle this one i yeah. can stand here <laughs> that's good yeah yeah well at least uh, you know was somebody telling you when to last hit your last hitting was it was impressive no. i'll say you're they left me alone they just they did kind of like a if you notice they fought and i farmed yeah uh, and that was the plan. So it yeah, worked it out. went really well. Yeah. Um, so uh, no, those were not the best games of Dota that I've ever seen. They weren't. No, oh, okay. uh, the best games of Dota that I have ever seen were the uh, the DAC European qualifiers, uh, Team Liquid versus Bears. Uh, Bears. I think uh, it's uh, sub B ears. No, because it's bears. B parenthesis uh, or B. Uh, no, they're bears. Isn't that a that's a it's a parenthesis after parenthesis, the b yeah, yeah yeah a close parenthesis technically close uh but yes that that so i i i felt like it was undersold to me how please don't spoil the game i'm not going to i, I because i i pray that everybody goes and watches it because it, the, here's what i'll say we I, when i think about other like really incredible dota matches uh like wow. the in-house game like the in-house game, or uh, or being at TI5 and watching the, the $6 million Echo Slam, right? <clears throat> Which I feel like I was a big part of that as yes. well. Uh-huh. I'm um, sure you do. I was, in, I was in the crowd. Everybody was my Obviously biggest fan. Obviously encouraging them and <laughs> yeah, uh, providing that aura. Uh, uh, but yeah. no, so when you think about that game, there you can, you, can, you can pinpoint a singular team effort or a team play or a bit of teamwork that went on that arguably won that game you there are countless examples of amazing plays throughout the entirety of all three of those matches they they are oh, I, I, wish I, I know a little bit of a spoiler I, I apologize i wish i hadn't even said that <sighs> they are incredible games and all three of them are well worth a watch they are fantastic matches and liquid we prefer to get our money in bitcoin uh <laughs> so if you want to just go no ahead and I, 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 it but way. seriously uh it, it it was it was a blast to watch them i was i was on the edge of my seat uh they were having an issue with uh casting at bts um Capitalist was casting the previous match between Cloud9 and Secret, which was which were we can just leave kind of they were kind of dull matches. They were always one on draft. It was just very clear like the now draft is what had occurred. And Dude, they were you very are the worst at being like I'm not going to spoil this, and then you just continue to spoil. No, no, no I, I these I, I, I'm telling a story. Damn it! Uh, so they had Capitalist and Gods casting those matches, and then Cap was having some major issues like his comp was obviously crashing or something and he was the host of the stream oh no um and they ended up having to replace him with a recent guest on the show lyrical oh okay uh so lyrical uh, lyrical and gods uh, cast uh, all three of the liquid bears games and holy shit they just like you can even hear it in their voices how how exciting those matches are mm-hmm. and, and I, I mean legitimately not like bringing the but hype to a game. always happy no I mean, this is, is this like th- a is this is a level? very this is Did a he... very different no this so, is them going i don't know what's about to happen and i can't wait to see bath it. salts up both nostrils then <laughs> yes. for lyrical this is them watching this is them having a blast this is them watching the game it, not as casters but all as co-spectators <laughs> it is how good these games were yeah. they were that fun to watch they're both really uh interesting uh casters to watch i mean on so you've got lyrical who is um maybe not like the highest skilled player but he brings in that like hype and the enjoyment and then you've got gods who is was a pro understands the game extremely yeah. well maybe he can't execute at a pro level but he gets what's going no, yeah. on they are both um, very very intelligent very knowledgeable yeah and so that duo is is a good one for sure well and just to see both of them just just straight up admit like the games you are seeing here how what you were seeing going on like back and forth mm-hmm. it has nothing to do with an outdraft on either side Mm-hmm. It is everything that you are seeing is just incredible play, incredible coordination, incredible teamwork from both sides. 
And uh, uh, yeah, I, I wish I, I would have watched them before recording this, but we yeah. have so many things <laughs> um, like. But that being said, leads me to another funny story. So I got to make an ass of myself on Twitter today uh, okay. because watching those matches uh, inspired me to take to Twitter. I sent out a little tweet that how much I was enjoying them, trying to encourage some folks to tune in and check them out. If you know folks that, that follow me, once again we take our payment in Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, and so I tweeted that the Bears match, and I couldn't find any you know Twitter handle for the for Bears. Uh, but I, I hit up Liquid Dota, and I was like, man, these matches between Bears and at Liquid Dota are incredible. Liquid Dota was kind enough to respond to me and let me know that that was the Twitter handle for the community website page. Liquipedia. And, and, and not Team Liquid. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes, I also said, ah, you're the fellows from Liquidpedia, as I put it, which I added the extra D myself. Ugh. And then they said, oh, how embarrassing. No, we are the Team Liquid website... We are not Liquipedia, and then they linked me to them after link linking me to the professional. Oh, God damn it, Denny! Um, Don't take to Twitter. <laughs> By the way, the- there are too many liquid handles out there. No, okay, that's why we're hiring somebody to handle this. <laughs> no, that was my own personal account. No, that's that was. A <laughs> but main I think the guys version. from Liquipedia will uh, be coming mm-hmm. on actually uh, mm-hmm. to talk with us, and maybe even the guys from the Team Liquid website. So yeah. hopefully, so. Uh, it'll be cool to. I mean, they're both. They're obviously big staple elements of the community. How many times have you gone? Uh, do, just doing the Dot Pro show since we started doing that again. I, Liquipedia is my source to, to figure out what the was what is going on. Source for StarCraft. I have had yeah. a, I have had a Liquipedia account for a very long time. That was my forums. That's where I would go talk to, try and be like. I really enjoyed your plays, and they'd get no response, and I'd just sit there, refresh, 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 refresh. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No one ever got back to me. I, I, I would, I, I hope they get back to us with a schedule sometime soon because that, that would be, it would be an interesting interview because they're, you're right. Like I, I guess I was thinking more from even just the Dota Two perspective, kind of getting their take on being involved in the community. But you're right; they've been they're a huge portion of a, a, a number of esports communities at this point. Yeah, StarCraft. I'm sure they have an Overwatch Pedia. I'm sure I, they've got everything. I bet there's something for Hearthstone. In fact, I know I see a variety of games whenever you go there just to just to scope out Dota. So yeah, I, I I hope they get back to us. And I hope we get to have them on the show soon because I made an ass of myself on Twitter. So yes, you did. Uh, but oh that's... my god. Okay, so I have news. Okay. So I sent out a tweet that we were 97th. Okay. Uh, it's on top podcast. Uh-huh. I just checked because I wanted to see what has happened. Mm-hmm. Because we've had a lot of success this week. Yeah. We are now 33rd. Damn. In, in video, video game games? podcasts. That's a huge jump. As of right now, we are the 33rd most popular video game podcast. I'll bet we podcast. drop because of this. I'll bet it's the patch notes. Um, Everybody always tunes in to hear patch we notes. We are very close to the instance with Scott Johnson. Oh, wow. Uh, so d- defense of the patients, uh, we'll screenshot that. Cause you know, who knows yeah, when that I goes know, away. I will. Uh, print screen. <laughs> I'm going to do it three times. Okay. Yeah. Just to be safe. Two, uh-huh. three, we are now 33rd. So not okay. only did we hit top 100 this week, we hit top 50 and then top 45 and then okay. top 40 well, how you and do then it? top 35. Top 35, top 34 too. Yeah. Top, top 33. <laughs> top 33. Um, we've seen an explosive reaction. Uh, um, we, we kind of we grew, obviously, uh, but as of late, you guys, just I know everybody says this like I hate this where it's like I'm so humbled like, but I honestly I'm just stoked that like you guys like what we're doing. I'm just gonna say that like I'm not gonna give you the bullshit that like I'm humbled like no I've been working really really hard yeah. at this. I'm not really that humbled. Yeah, well, but, I mean it was it was about when we when we saw. The, the growth start kicking in when we i, I want to say like 50 or 60 episodes in mm-hmm. we were like okay it could maybe be more than a hobby and yeah. then I, i'd say like 150 or so episodes in we were like all right mm-hmm. let's let's see what we can do with it and it's been yeah. fun yeah we've so been devoting... I'm, I'm not gonna give you the the humbled thing i am I'm, i also I'm... feel uncomfortable talking about ourselves uh in that regard hey it's not about ourselves is the thing no i know but it sounds like it's about ourselves defense of the patients is a wide-reaching community i mean even if you think of like mark maron or like some of the the faces of podcasts do they have communities uh yeah i would say like mark maron's probably got a huge subreddit i know even just from one that they do in houses with one that they I, i feel like we like we really uh the community, community thing is, is the coolest thing yeah. about it all 
Oh, for sure. I mean, it's cool to see the podcast be successful, but I think synergistically and uh, in turn, so will other facets of Defense of the Patients that are more community related. Um, and that's all because of you guys, and you were launching us. And just, well, thanks for sharing the podcast with other people. Sharing the podcast. I know that we've made pleas for like iTunes reviews and tell your friends, and obviously you have. And we did this uh, up until now with a $0 budget. We, yeah. we, today uh, was the first day that we are no longer at a $0 budget. Yeah. Um, obviously, so Patreon covered. We were we actually ran at a loss last year. With yeah, Patreon. we ran we, at a loss with Patreon calculated. last year. This we're running like nine dollars ahead on Patreon right now, yeah. or something like that. No, I think it might be um, just to be transparent with everybody. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess technically, technically it's eighty nine dollars, but we're using eighty dollars to eighty dollars. Do... Well, twenty dollars in Steam gift cards for every Tuesday show. Yeah, so you get that. But anyway, it is uh, a humbling. Uh, moment for <laughs> no. me. Okay, uh, I want to talk about yeah. Dota. I want to talk about Dota because I've had, I've been having an amazing experience with it lately. Uh, so this is going to sound really, really lame. Uh, and I talked about it, li- or I mentioned it in the Discord. I don't, I don't know how much people noticed, but uh, so Rin has been. Who's Rin? Uh, Grandma Ralph, my girlfriend. Who's that? <clears throat> so she's getting more and more into Dota. She's loving the hell out of Dota. She played her first match of Coddle the other day. Uh, and she was panicked, but it was a random draft, and the other team had a uh, Storm Spirit and a Timber Saw, and Coddle just seemed like the perfect pick. Uh, she was just super paranoid about picking it up and just completely screwing up on it. And about halfway through the match, she like started giggling with glee because she was like, oh my god, I could just pull people from wherever I wanted. And so to test out recall, she <laughs> she clicked on somebody who was pushing mm-hmm. a lane, and the guy was like, yo, why did you pull me back to fountain? I was getting that tower. Uh, and then she just laughed hysterically. And, and, uh, and she was like, tell him I'm sorry. Cause she doesn't hop on the mic. She still won't get on the mic to talk to people. She's like, tell him I'm sorry. I was testing it. It's the first time I played the really? hero. <laughs> yeah. Well, she, we, she's had a couple of experiences in solo that led her to decide she was never going to do that again. Like what? Uh, just people saying, oh, great. We're going to lose. We have a bitch on the team. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you get on there and defend your woman? I was not in the ma- those matches with her. She's so been running solo. You say, "Give me the mic. I'm going to defend my woman." I tell her to mute. Uh, if somebody talked to Audrey like that. Audrey would be like, "Listen up, cocksucker. Okay, <laughs> you're going to talk to me like that. You're the fucking bitch." Yeah. That's what that's what Audrey's f- yeah. fucking mean. Dude. No, for Rin, it was like for Rin, it was a, oh great, it, that exists here as well. So she's been loving playing in the in houses lately. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it it's been fun to do. I think she and I played in the last two weeks of the in houses, and it, it's been fun. Um, but, uh, so what she's been doing is putting, she, she listens to opera music whenever she does homework or anything, you know, mentally strenuous. Okay. And she's started playing over the speakers, uh, opera music while we play Dota. To calm you down, probably. Uh, man, it's, it, well, it's working. It's relaxing. I, I'm, I, I feel like I'm thinking a lot more in the game. I, I, I mean, maybe it's placebo, Maybe it's me associating, you know, a couple of good matches with, you know, that experience. But, I mean, for about, for almost a week now, that's what's been going on. It's either classical or opera, uh, usually opera. And, yeah, I, I think before I aggress, I, I, I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like it slows time down to a degree in the game. I, I don't feel like time, I don't feel the, the stress of the mm-hmm. timer when it's going. No, not that. I can play that on piano. <laughs> oh, wow. Just that part. Yeah, just that part. Because <laughs> it's just a white key, a black key, a white key, a black key, and they're right next to each other. <laughs> oh, that's dee, 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 no, 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 no. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Great story, Grandpa. Yeah, yeah. it was a pretty good story. Yeah, thanks. Uh, but anyway, that, so I've had that. And then a couple of matches where we just... we I For every, for every frustrating match I have with just a group full of douchebags, I, I, of late... Wait, douchebags? You? Yes. Yeah. You are a douchebag. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I was zoning uh-huh. yeah, out for a second. Yeah. Is that what you were getting at? Uh-huh, that's right. Oh, okay. uh, for sorry. every for every match full of douchebags I've been getting lately, I've been getting matches full of uh, really nice fools? people. All right, like you? Like matches fools uh-huh. of yeah, you? Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Stop scrolling. It's not, the number's not going to change. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Yeah. All right, sorry. No, but it's uh, it, it's been inspiring. It's, it's just been a good week of Dota. It's been a solid been a week of Dota. a good week. 
It's been a it's really been a great week. week all around. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I'm enjoying the fuck out of it. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I'm closer uh, on the calibration account. Um, mm-hmm. like just shy of 50 games on there. I want to say there's uh, a two o inside. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. He, he started re- up as well. He is about to calibrate, and his yeah. open Dota. He hasn't... started that like a month and a half after I started mine. He's already he plays. At the point he, of well, he streams too. Like yeah, he, you know, and he's he's a really interesting stream to watch. Two O inside. It's T U O inside. Uh, Twitch, whatever. I'll give him a free plug. Uh, we accept Bitcoin. Um, no, we sure. don't accept Bitcoin. <laughs> no, I never want a Bitcoin. I don't want Bitcoin. So I, I I'm, like I'm, old, I'm an old man enough that I'm scared of it. I don't know what means. <laughs> <laughs> the crypto part scares me. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he um, is like right about to calibrate. And I'm like, so what's your open Dota? And he's like, 4,200. And I'm like, oof, you're going to calibrate high. Yeah. Because when you get that close, like when I was getting, the closer I got, the lower it was like, it was like, okay, 35. And then it was like, no, uh, probably like 34. Mm-hmm. And it was like, no, mm-hmm. probably like 33. Then I ended up calibrating like almost exactly what Open Dota said right before I started my calibration oh, wow. matches. So he, it looks like he's going to calibrate straight, straight into 4K. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he, he's a better player than me, so it makes sense. Just another 2K trenchy learning how good he is. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I don't know where I'm gonna calibrate, but I it think has, you are the two. You are uh, what makes the trench. Ah, and yes, we that just, might be. We just de- <laughs> like you were what was holding it me and two back. It might be. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, the guy who yeah. yells at everybody uh-huh. thinks he knows more, uh-huh. yep. thinks he's uh-huh. better than his peers. Uh-huh. You, yeah. yeah, living incarnation mm-hmm. of the trench. Oh, gotcha. I just mm-hmm. ascended past it mm-hmm. while you you stay yeah. down there and trench everybody else. Wow. I'm spamming the shit out of Underlord in the trench. That's how well, I'm Well, Underlord I'm just got out of it. nerfed. Yeah, I know. He's slow as fuck. I know. It's sad. One and of the, slower uh, the damage reduction on uh, atrophy. atrophy. Or, uh, oh, it eventually it, so it levels out in, in the end. It levels out you, in the but end. But you don't max atrophy at first. So well, it, yeah. Well, you it used to be great. Like there was you, there was an argument to be made for either going firestorm or atrophy <laughs> for your your I first level. I thought it was level. always Q Dub. Because uh, you want pit no, of malice. I, I mean, I guess one point no, pit you of malice is good. Just no, one you no no no. Do you no. do, do you, you do pick four, up atro- one four? So it used to be that you picked up atrophy because of the damage reduction. Yeah, I know. And I know how it works. But look at the. You should pull up the patch note specifically and see what the nerf was. It, w- it went. It was from, dra- it, it went from went from like, forty to four sixteen twenty four forty. Or something like that. No, it went from like ten. It went from like ten twenty thirty. It went from 40. ten twenty thirty forty. It still ends at forty. Yeah, it still ends at forty. But it the went problem 4, is four sixteen uh, thirty four. Right. I want to say or something right. like that. The the problem being that now you, I can in order up, for you to have anything worthwhile out of that damage reduction, you've got to get two points of atrophy. Yeah, let's see. So and it used to be like you could make an argument for picking up the atrophy aura early. One, it helps with your last hitting. Two, yeah. it provides that damage reduction after the first wave. So it went from 10, 20, 30, 40 to 4, 16, 28, 40. 10, 20, 30, 40? So it, went, it was 10, yes. 20, 30, 40. Now yeah. it's 4, 16, 28, 40. So level one, yeah. it's like it's worth less, less than it, half. Well, it's, it's less than half of what right. it was at level Your one. second skill is where you get the most bang for your buck. Mm-hmm. And that, that makes it painful. because now what, So now you always want to open with Firestorm. Because at the very least, you can harass with it or possibly protect yourself with it if you get harassed out of lane by support. But now you don't have at like that atrophy. I can't tell you how awesome it was to just to Walk even up level and just one. Be like, yep, yep, hello, well, I'm after a the big cow guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, here to make... and it's like, guess what, bitch? I'm here in your face, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> and it's like, God damn it, the cow's here, and it's like, I know, man, he's such a jerk. Yeah, and yeah. then and you hit hard, and it was like, yeah. oh, you want to trade? I trade all day. <laughs> yeah, or oh, you want a last hit? I'm gonna deny and take my own yeah. last hits, and you can't damage yeah. me <laughs> because I do way more yeah. damage than and I like ever should be allowed rotate to. Rotate, and you die, and you're like, oh, that sucks. Yeah. And then, then like their <laughs> mid and bot t- towers well, fall. Well, or more often than not, by the time they are ready to rotate five people up to you, it's like pit of malice. I'm gone. Yeah. Or Peace. Just, <laughs> and they're like, let's kill him before it happens. It takes 29 seconds, and it's like, no, you don't have enough time. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh. He. He. I, I. I. So I haven't played him yet in 702 because it, it released last night. For those listening to this, we're recording on Thursday evening. The patch was released Wednesday. I was the first official person to play 7.02. <laughs> yes, uh-huh, that's it right. It was great. We confirmed that with Icebrod. And we, we, we took it one tier three and took the shrines. We knew to do that. Yeah. It was cool that I was able to pick up that information. 
Um, and that's why we force bought. Man, it, it, and you know what? I, uh, I'm glad you brought that up because I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna tangentialize just for a moment. That element of that new addition to mm-hmm. removing shrines was part of what made those uh, Liquid Bears games so fucking interesting. No, I know. Me and Ursi talked about the implication of now if you're pushing high ground, you can get flanked. You can get pincered even. You can have two... So you're defending high ground. You can have two yeah. people TP to the shrine, three on the high ground to smoke, oh, yeah. and pincer attack, dude. Yeah. That's somebody who's trying to the high ground you. It's It really is... At first I looked at it and was like, eh, inconsequential. And then Ursi and I got talking about it last night. We're like... Wow, like it just makes for so much. It actually makes for so the implication. The implication. I didn't get. I watched that episode <laughs> okay, recently good. again, uh, and they bring it up again when they're yeah. on the cruise ship. Uh-huh. Uh, I love it, and he's like, maybe it's the implication. implication. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, the the it it just makes for so much more dynamic movement at all stages of the game. Yeah. Um. And, and e- or even better, it in in a in a truly like stompy game like we like we saw with cloud nine and secret going back and forth both teams had their opportunity to stomp each other i won't spoil that series either if you I think you might watch it but um there you know there were plenty of times where because one lane got pushed in like crazy um a tier three would be taken and there would be a tier you know there'd be a tier two there'd be two tier twos left and then we'd see those shrines drop you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like there was just there was. Well, what it led to was my like my viper strat is basically uh, it still works, but it's not as good. Which was take all the tier ones, take all the tier twos, take the shrines. We have control of the map. We win. Right. Um, and now it's like, okay, do we you know force a lane to tier three, then take the shrines? But then it doesn't matter because they can TP onto their remaining the way, towers. You know why you should watch? The only reason only reason you should watch i'm uh, gonna watch it god no, no, no. damn the only reason you, you but no, no no there's a different match the only reason you should watch the first game of cloud nine versus team secret is to see mid brood mother oh fuck yeah that's awesome brood got some awesome buffs as well i love brood mother uh but anyway uh i guess we were talking about underlord and i just completely derailed us but it was a blast to, it was a, a blast and a to play. beep that just don't beep. nobody hears that i know nobody hears that but i'm gonna <laughs> let everybody that. know that i just got a fucking beep from my computer on discord and i said don't do that no it doesn't look like you have streamer mode enabled i don't know how to so. enable it it just automatically does it oh no you can do that in settings mm, yeah. i'm not gonna you want to have a little uh discord uh, no. Little no discord discord here on no. the discourse discord discourse that is cool that we got partnered though like that we i don't want to talk about ago. us anymore <laughs> i feel like we've already it's not us it's... i worry about feel i i worry about saying it I, is I us like but it's not much. just i know you and I. but yes i i know but i say i you know <laughs> Anyway, I'm really good at Dota. Um, oh, is that, is that the case? I won a game as Techies today. Oh, really? Um, that I shouldn't have. Didn't that, Techie... Techies got nerfed, right? Well, so if you kill one of his red mines, it's now worth 50 gold. Damn. Um, and But people still freak out. They see it, and they're like, oh, God, it's going to blow. Oh, no. And then it blows up when really they could just... Oh, there's a mine. 50 gold. So, um, I really didn't do anything. I'll say that much. Uh, but we won the game still, so that was nice. Um, let's see what techies, just to yeah, re- that's what I was techies. looking forward I got to. it right here. Okay. Um, yeah, so bounty increase from 30 to 50, uh, level 15 talent, uh, XP gain plus 5%. Uh, I don't think you need to take the, ex- maybe, experience at level 15 is kind of lame. And then he got his minor nerf at level 25, where his cooldown reduction was used to be 25%, now is 20%. So, so I would say a nerf overall, but, like, yeah. this was, like, the patch of, like, minor consequence. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, <laughs> yeah. like... I, I don't know. Some of the... But... I, I feel like supports come out on top, maybe with the exception of Shadow Demon. The general changes were the biggest things. And the trees for Dire are going to help a lot. Yeah. I wasn't sure how I felt uh, at first about... Because I, I realize it's them trying to address the Radiant advantage. I wasn't sure how I felt at first about swapping the Medium Camp and the Dire Ancients. Did you listen to the... the no, I, that's the one episode I haven't great, had a chance. Let's hear what you, why you think it's good. Um, at first, I was worried... Because it's on low ground now. Right. It's less defensible. Right. Yeah, but at the this same, was my thought. Right, but at the same time, it's like, well, in the early game, when you need to be farming, you're not farming those Ancients. Yeah. You, having the high ground option is definitely superior it's in that regard. interesting to hear. Is, um, so are, that, are those your reasons? Yeah, I think it has mostly to do with high ground, low ground. So yes, Ursi's, I, and I, I do think it's better are, that way. TA 
and other heroes. Now you can stack Ancients uh, as a mid. It's important. Now I can Acid Spray Ancients as Alchemist. I can uh, okay. stack them with TA. Huh. And that's what they said for improved stackability. That's literally what it oh, says wow. on there. Okay. They put them there for... T- TA re- relies a lot on Ancients. Yeah, oh, for sure. And it's easy for... Right, I guess I just... I, I So I was trying... So here's why it bothers... Here's why I think that it might not be as big of an impact as they might think. It is a big impact in, in a positive way, not sure, in a negative right. way. But so hear me out. Now Dyer is the only faction that has a low ground ancient. Yep. Radiant has two high ground ancients. Dyer has one high ground ancient and one low ground ancient. And it, I mean, I guess, but the thing is, think of the smoke paths to get there. Um, now that I think about it, there's a high ground smoke path that you can take that you can get a guy as especially after you take a tier one if you take that tier one bot lane from dire at first when i saw it i was like what why are they making dire worse like uh, no and i i don't think that it'll make it work i think that you i I think and i'm sure ursi's right you know again i'll defer to a higher skill player but and the devs know more than us come on like you know the devs know dude they created the game like (laughs) no no no. i know but i'm I'm gonna say my opinions right but the devs are also the ones who implemented a dire v radiant that resulted in the craziest radiant advantage we've ever seen since we started playing the game yeah but so i'm not to think of them as an infallible entity they're not infallible but they know they're they're they know more than me right I, i and i you know don't get me wrong I, I I think that yes, for the reasons stated, like I, I hadn't even re- I hadn't contemplated stackability. Um, I guess I didn't remember that little addendum to that line in the in the yeah, change log. Improved stackability, they made it um, easier to stack. And, and that totally makes sense. And yes, that's definitely something that you know Dyer was missing. Although I, I I still in the end I feel like if you are in a position where you've lost that tier one tower bot lane and let's be honest it's your off lane tower like which tower are you giving up first especially for dire now that you know roche is on the other side of the map i i think that dire tier one is you know back in the dumpster as far as value goes so you're you're probably willing to give it up first or and it becomes an easier target for them to take i mean it becomes a it's an easy you know there's an easy ward to place there to keep an eye on it there is uh, an easy smoke path to go up and attack it from a high ground area after that tower is gone i i think it could present i think it could present problems i think if i was sven uh that is not the ancient stack of ancients i want to be killing i would think if i were even as a ta i would be semi-concerned about it at, at least concerned I, I, I guess it's just going to you're going to want to prioritize warding there. If you're a support and your mid is stacking those ancients, then it, and your mid is going to take it, you you've got to pay attention. You need to be there to either a protect them or b keep solid vision in that area so that they can avoid potential ganks. That'd yeah. be my my but you know I agree my two K take. Yeah, um, it's it's interesting because you haven't listened to the patch notes episode yeah. that we did to hear your like thoughts on it because that didn't even get brought up at all because we didn't even think about that. I initially, you know, like I said, posed it to Ursi as, why would they make Dire worse? Yeah. And he was like, no, this is actually a, a really good thing. Um, and if you recall, stacking was really easy it just when feels, ancients were on low ground. Right, It just but doesn't it just kind of feel like Dire still gets fuckerood in all of it? <laughs> like... So they have a shrine right there. They do have a shrine. They have a shrine right You're there. You're right, and that's true. There, there's quick and access to that shrine. And they have a tier one right there. And when you lose the tier one, arguably it's not a safe place to be farming anyway. I, you know, I, yeah. you know, don't get me wrong, but it, it does seem, it does seem like a, it seems like less of a disadvantage, but still a slight disadvantage for Dire. Is how I, you know. We'll see. I mean, we don't have stats to back it. Um, one thing that I brought up to Proud, I don't know if you listened to it, was. Uh, clockwork being able to hook shot into uh, yeah, ancient. Yeah, I do remember that conversation. Um, and like that was that, that's interesting. Like that's that. something I'd never thought about. But I mean, you only think about it when the situation presents yeah, itself. Yeah, sure. You know what I mean? So um, there's a lot of little things, but the trees on every tier one you can TP in discreetly now for dire. We we checked it on the map. Um, you can TP in tier one mid and not be seen. You can TP in tier one offlane and not be seen, which never has happened to my knowledge that you were able to on TP dire side. on dire side to the offlane without yeah. being seen. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And that, that um, I recall either. Whereas uh, Radiant, you totally can. Yeah, you always could. 
Um, I mean, even before the most recent map yeah. changes. So I really like that. And I looked at the map and I was like, they didn't add trees. What are you talking about? And it's just they're just so good that you didn't even notice they added trees. <laughs> uh, they yeah. just like and and they did in such a way that is great because I can't tell you how many times I want to TP to the safe lane dire. And it's just like, although to be fair, mo- <clears throat> most of the time now with the addition of the shrines, anytime I was trying to TP in in an unseen way to protect the tier one off lane, you just TP to the shrine. Y- you know what I mean? The shrine is close enough on the dire side that it's not that big, not that far to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't have Roland's full attention. I'm sorry. For everybody that's I'm out sorry. There. I might be, <laughs> I might be subbing for a team tonight. As oh, a carry. And well, so, we have to record the Patreon exclusive episode tonight at some point. Yeah. Yeah. We have time to do that another night. <laughs> another night. <laughs> I, I want to play the competitive You Dota. heard it, patrons. Roland doesn't care about no, you. we do. Withdraw your support. No, we do 15th at <laughs> the end of the month. It's only the, yeah. it's only the 10th today. Yeah, I know. We can we can hit a the Sunday recording. Yeah, I don't, I don't record and on Sundays I, anymore. And we're not. Uh, the Patreon exclusive, I think everybody wants to be on it. As yeah. far as Ursine and Proud. Well, maybe I'll just and do it from home with that, like, semi-decent mic. It's not that decent. All right, I'll come out here. I'll come see you and your baby. I don't think he wants me, though, which sucks. <laughs> who, who, are you, who are you talking to? I'm not going to gonna say because I don't want to make him feel bad if he doesn't want to pick oh. me. But I'm like, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick oh, me, Oh, is it me, somebody me. hitting somebody up in the general well, discard? they said, we need a stand-in, uh, a carry that's 3K to 4.2K. And I was like, immediately, I was like, me, 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 And it, the timing works out perfectly. I would love to. Dude, I'm going to play so much Dota tonight. I was really tired. Do because... you have work tomorrow? No, I'm off. Oh, I'm nice. Off tomorrow, yeah. I uh, I I stayed up last night. I hope Ren doesn't ever doesn't listen to this. Uh, I stayed up last night until two in the morning hunting terrorists. Well, with, if we're uh, gonna do that, can I talk some shit on your girlfriend then? <laughs> okay, sure. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. Um, you shouldn't let me talk shit on your girlfriend anymore. All right, fair enough. So uh, I stayed up till two a.m. hunting terrorists uh, in Rainbow Six Siege. I didn't know you could do that in Dota. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fuse, best hero. Uh, like ten people out there got that joke. Um, Did, wasn't I playing Fuse? The no, one? I played Fuse. What what hero or what hero? What type of dude was I? Oh, playing? operator. Did you? No, play? I was playing the guy with that could therm like could. Yeah, uh, his thermite. name is Thatcher. Thermite. The thermite oh no, maybe guy? it was Thermite. Maybe yeah. his name actually is Thermite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Harry plays Thatcher. Uh, anyway, it was a blast. Um, uh, literally. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, especially with we- it's a pretty cool. Ga- it's a really cool game. If I were to ever play like a shooter type strategy shooter, oh, yeah, it would be that one because it punishes especially you, especially when you're repelling and you can get those angles that just feel so real. Yeah, um, the and- lean, yeah, that lean, that lean, oh, so good. The lean is. I good. don't want to talk too much about it because I, I I know people hate. I, I, although somebody hit me up on one of those Reddit comments and said they liked when I talked about Elite Dangerous, so. Fuck you, Roland. I know. Um, but but uh, it's my job to I was just telling shit. the terrorist thing as an, as an aside. I stayed up till 2 because of that uh, and because I, I was trying to prep that draft for you guys for the show, for the late night patch notes show that you guys are doing. Um, and then I had to wake up this morning at 6.30, so I got like four and a half hours of sleep. But now I've hit that second wind and I feel I feel a night of Dota on oh, its no. way. You'll, of what you'll do is you'll eat dinner and then you'll sit down, you'll lose a game. No, the, I'm gonna eat a salad. The classic music won't help and uh I just oh, said yeah. dinner. I didn't say what you're gonna eat. No, I'm saying I'll eat a salad, something light, because you're right. Like if you eat too if you eat too heavy, you'll wanna fall asleep. Yeah. Uh and then uh you'll lose a game, you'll get really mad, and you'll hunt terrorists for a little while and then you'll you'll go to bed at no night. you gotta be sharp to hunt terrorists oh really you gotta be super sharp to play dota or hunt terrorists yeah you because you gotta take your time in that game that's what i hated about it was like can we just yeah, bust you through the you, door yeah, and you guys yeah. are all looking at your drones on your little i i i uh phone thingies <laughs> yeah. that you have in the game and uh, yeah ra- you have to take your time he's writing back Oh, okay, we're gonna find out here on the show if Roland is. Oh, he stopped writing a sub. This is oh. literally called message anxiety. There's, I mm. learned about this in mm. those interesting communication classes, <laughs> where it shows that like so and so is typing back. Yeah, huh? It's called like, it, yeah, let's do it. Okay. What time? I, I'm not. Uh, I am playing. You guys, this year, you guys live in the future, so you won't know. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be playing 82 on the Doppy Devils as their carry. Oh, sweet. And I'm gonna be playing Drow. So that's not giving anything away because I can't hear it. He said yeah. you're playing uh-huh. Drow. 
Except I'm gonna go I'm home gonna, and release on. this episode right Good away. Good thing I'm an excellent Drow Ranger. Why do you have to play Drow? They got some little pocket strap. Yeah, developed. probably. Probably. All right. right. But the thing, like, fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Like, we have to like <laughs> fuck it. Fuck Get it. rolling. Like, I guess we can have him. He sucks. Ask but... them if they are cool with your Drow build, because you know. Oh. You can't go stats anymore, yeah. so they force me to get guts. And, and but you will get ice arrows. Don't worry about that. Why would you get those no. those bothersome ice arrows? Why would you even worry about a single value point in ice arrows? It never does anything. It only slows enemies at a time in the game when slows are most powerful. Just, Why would you worry about I'll it? I'll just use Pasta Man's build, whatever his name is. Torta, torta, tortellini. Um, tortellini. Um, tortellini. Millions and millions. Man, I uh, it's so funny because I anytime I ever play a hero, I do what everybody does. I do toss like if I'm playing a hero for the first time, I'll toss on a, a tortellini, you know, build. I do it all the time, and just see what he what One he suggests. Time, I, I disagreed with him on Luna, yeah. and then I did it, and I was like, "This is the way to start on Luna, <laughs> hands down." And what does he does he not do well, lunar blessing first? No, just item build. Um, oh okay. He does lunar blessing first. Yeah. Oh okay. And I do. I did it before and after. But usually I would buy um, a wraith band and tango, and instead I do three branch, circlet, uh, tango salve, and yeah, like comes out to like perfect. And you that know, way you get wand really quick, you get stats really quick, and it's and then you have the hold extra. On. I just had a, I had an idea. Okay. That it's worthy of submitting to fucking Reddit to try to get Valve's attention for. Why can I not have an option with a build like like Tortellini's? Because I I I'll I I will admit I will frequently leave his builds on because in those suggested items lists, you know. Although I guess there is basically this. I, I'll continue with my train of thought and then I'll I'll no, tell you the realization that it was a complete fuck up. Okay. Um, I, I frequently and it, it's because of old Dota or pre seven O Dota. It was nice to have the suggested items because frequently a lot of the items you do want on those on those heroes are right there and, right there and very easily to very easy to shift key or shift click or control shift Q up you know on your build. Um, but I always hate having the fucking skills highlight because more often than not, you and I know we've had him it. on the show and I like I, he seems like a really nice guy, but more often than not, don't give that look. More often than not, his I, his skill or his skill decisions. Either A, just don't make sense for every game of Dota. Well, it's a situational game. You can't blame him for that. Right. Or B, just don't make sense at all after you play the hero a couple of times or watch any kind Look, of video or guide on I'm just going to say this. I like tortellini. We go to this Italian restaurant <laughs> all the time. It's great. Okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, but no, so I was going to say, I wish I could just turn off its advice for skill. I wish I could choose to have the suggested items of a build, but not the suggested skills of the build. But then I realized, oh, yeah, I guess... I guess they kind of fixed that with that popular item thing. It, because isn't the popular item thing only players of a certain skill level that they... I don't know, dude. I just know... Most of the heroes that I've been playing in ranked, uh, I just... I know what I'm... I know what I want to build, usually. Yeah. Um, unless it's, like, Viper, and then I have two slots where I'm like, what do I need? <laughs> yeah, Which is sure. fun. Um, but for the most part, usually... But I wish, I wish I could just turn that off, because I, I'll find myself in an, a moment of just, like automatic brain process is going level up skill the thing that's highlighted and it's like and i have to stop myself and i have to i have to inter in, in, intercept this ridiculous notion that i have to you know skill up what's fucking highlighted mm -hmm. when i know that i don't want to i don't want to do that and there's that extra second that i just i like wish i could going shave against off like an authoritarian command like you feel like you're going against like i just want to shave it off i just don't want the desire to be there for me to accidentally fuck up because if i'm not following the build and it's highlighting something and i need to be skilling my ult at level six it's really obnoxious to click it. accidentally and, and i have like, i have a half oh, dozen fuck. times oh we've all done it we've all done it um but that's not that's your fault for not following his I, build <laughs> right okay don't turn his build on if you're not going to follow it all right fair enough <laughs> Um, but, uh, okay. My next... Um, no, but I want to get into the, what's so great about what the realization that I had okay. about the three branch tango salve circlet. Okay. okay. Uh, on Luna. On Luna. Okay. And this is before Luna got, uh, shot. 
and she's still recovering, but <laughs> she'll she'll be okay. But I think she, hey, she was she was uh, yeah, minus not, six not, damage. She was not first pick material in those Liquid Bears matches mm-hmm. or in the uh, C nine secret matches. All I did at work today. I hope nobody at work listens to this. Oh, dude, all you I did shouldn't say today. shit like that. No, all I did is work all day. All long I, wor- on... I worked so hard. I did not just watch Dota on my phone all day at work. I I was I was very busy working on work stuff. Um, but Luna was usually picked up like second, second round. She was a second round pick. Yeah. Well, it's just, uh, some, and no shadow demon compatriot. Well, 300%, 300%. Yeah. That's oh, too, yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. No. Like I said, he's the, the supports overall seem to have gotten buffed. He's the one lonely support victim of that bat of those patch notes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So here's the great thing about three, okay. three, yeah, sorry. three branches. So wand used to take three branches, now takes two. Right. Uh, two circlet and a uh, stick. Yep. So I, I buy my stick pretty much right off the bat. Uh-huh. Gives me my attributes, gives me some damage, gives me some good stats. And you mean you buy your circlet right off the bat? I buy, I start with circlet, three branch, uh-huh. tango, uh-huh. salve. Yes. Right. Okay. So I go to the side shop and I buy a stick, which completes mm-hmm. my wand, yes. and I'm left with one iron branch. Which you can turn into headdress. Yes. Yeah. And go right into Helmet Dom. Awesome. Yeah. I can, and I can build headdress right there at the side shop. Yep. <laughs> and cool. it's fucking... Cool, cool story, bro. <laughs> Dope. Wait, no, you can't build headdress right there at the side shop. You need the uh, recipe. Pretty much by it right <laughs> there. At the si- Does headdress require a recipe? Headdress, re- it's a oh, uh, uh, <clears throat> ring of regen... <laughs> It's Ring of Regen, uh, Iron Branch. But you recipe. have it already. Uh-huh, yeah, so... And if you want to eat it, you can still do mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it uh, is yep. cream of the cream. <laughs> no, but I'll admit, it is nice to start with those three branches. Why not? And, and branches are good. Yeah. Uh, like, I remember people buying branches when I was a noob and, like, <laughs> wasting your gold on those <laughs> silly things. But, like... As I'm sure you have. I know you have ranted and raved against starting with branches on this podcast. Oh, I'm sure yeah. I have. I'm sure. Many but hey, times we I come have. a long way. You buy boots these days, I hear. I do. Yeah. Uh, even on Nature's Profit, I yeah. buy boots. Uh, I feel like they in- make me get from point A to point B. Yeah, little, it really increases that efficiency. Yeah. I didn't know that it meant per second on move speed. You know what I mean? <laughs> that like 345 <laughs> I means I move 345 I don't in a know what you're second. About. You know what I mean? So I didn't. So speaking really... of old bad habits, <laughs> uh, so oh, how how far into the podcast are we? Uh, Should I far like far far like I, Not maybe far, I far. shouldn't you bring could, up a brand new topic bring of this up conversation? A brand new topic, sure. I mean, because I could save it for the Patreon exclusive episode if you wanted. No. Okay. So I am. I, bad at Dota, yep. Yeah, I am bad at Dota. Um, Can I just continue to finish your sentences? Sure. I am bad at Dota because I... Oh, I thought you were going to... No, I'm not oh, going to finish oh, your sentences. Thank God. I don't want to finish uh, sentences. No, I'm, uh, I, 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 have, I have been playing too many heroes. I, I, like, I've, I, you I've, should have done that back when I, know. I was doing I know. it. I've completely strayed from the learn a range of positions and a, a handful of heroes for each, you know, for each of them. Vindicated, <laughs> I am right, I am wrong, I am right, I swear I'm right. No, don't do this Swear I've done it all um, My versatility on my main is like an 8.6 or something right now. Like, I'm just playing everything. and mm. it, And it's fun. It is. It is fun. You're right. It was was fun to do it back when I was learning how to play Dota. (laughs) And now I've decided which heroes I like to play and which I don't. I really wanted to... No, dude, I like playing them all, it turns out. No. No, you don't. No, you're right. I don't, because I'll never play Meepo. I tried tried Lone Druid. I don't. I mean, I don't have have the mechanical skill to to play a Lone Druid. Mental capacity, yeah. Yeah, I just don't. Never. I'll never be good at that. You don't have the mechanics? Mechanics, mental... Oh, okay. whatever just well, let's get start the list <laughs> wait two things yeah i can't i i have two things i have trouble with one thing oh, why would i have why would i ever be good at controlling two things two things uh um, yeah, yeah meepo, so the, the thought things. of meepo yeah the thought of meepo after and if one dies well don't get me wrong like die. i mean i play i've you know obviously played warlock and whatnot but like oh, warlock's yeah. easy to play with a select all other unit key you know what i mean or just to like click on it and say or even lichen or even lichen like how often with lichen do you need to select an individual wolf i I, more when you're roaching 
Sure, when you're roaching. But and, even, and you have to do that, like, back and forth very often and yeah. very, like, <laughs> okay. quickly. Yeah. Like, actually, Lycan is, like, the prime example I'm of when so, you have to Dude, select. I'm so bad at using my, my control group keys. I, I don't I'll, use control. I just I don't use control. I just click on the wolves and pull them back and forth. Like, I Oh, yeah, that's what I'll do more often yeah. than not, even though I have a control group key bound. I So, you guys were right that I never should have had my items on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, T, um, because I can never play Meepo and I can never really play Micro Heroes. Because you need one, two, three, four, five at least for Meepo from mm-hmm. all the videos I've watched. Because you need, I've said this before, Meepo one on one yeah. and Meepo five on five. Well, I have you thought about doing like a like an, uh, alt, like or an alt or a shift type thing? I tried to put my items on Alt one, two, three, four, five, and then See, T. And I'd want to put the yeah. You you need to be like, and then you have to have quick casts on. So like, I need to be like one W tab, two W tab, three W tab, four W tab, five W tab, so you can do the blink poof right. Yeah. And, like, I practiced it a bunch where I wasn't using items and was like, this is easy. And then I was like, let's add some items in here. And then was like, nope. <laughs> I, my happen. brain is too trained on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, T yeah, for I, my item slots. I find myself in that position, too, with, with keybinds. I frequently wish I, I was doing something different with keybinds. I, 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 in fact, I wish, I, I wish when I had what started. What was your big topic you wanted to bring up here? That you can't oh, play micro too, heroes? No, playing too many heroes. I, I oh, it's been I yeah. I do think it's I do think it's been hurting me. I told me. you way back when though I was like this is you'd love this hero man and you're like no nah. nah, I want to play I want to play Skyrath I was like <laughs> but you'd love this hero it's like a new game every time <laughs> no so I was right my 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 issue so the issue that I feel like or what I feel like how I feel like it's impacting me the most is I'm playing a lot of different heroes on my main account and then when I go to play the calibration account I find myself going who am I best at now? Like who, because I feel, I, I, I feel relatively competent on a, a, a wide variety at this point. Relatively. But I don't feel, I don't feel specialized and truly capable on that. And now you're like, not even a good support. Range. You know what I no, mean? No, I feel like a shitty support. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like, just... no, I do though. I feel like I am at my worst. Why? Like supporting. It's because support, I haven't been doing it. Supports. Because have I haven't like been doing pretty, it in 702. Like, rotate when they need you you know sure no like, but i mean it's th- like you, not but even... there is a rhythm to get into like i remember like for for instance our, our gang squad days like we would get into rhythms and that i was just rotations no no it was there were it was literally I, there's just something rotations. there's the, no i i i know what you're saying and on face value sure that's true but there's something deeper than that, and you know it's it. playing well and rotating, right? But doing that with frequency, when we were doing that consistently, we were getting better at rotations, making smarter rotations. We were analyzing situations better from that perspective. I don't feel like I have spent enough time in that perspective to, I, I, I just to play at my best. Like I'm not saying that. I couldn't get back there if I just dedicated to that for a minute and probably even if I just dedicated to it for, you know, the next dozen games. Mm-hmm. But the the I'm 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 playing more farmers. I'm playing more mids, I'm playing more carries, I'm playing more off lanes, which is good. I think it's still a good thing. And yeah, you're seeing like it hurting you now, but in the end it will help you big time. Maybe. I promise you it It's will. not going to help my recalibration account. That's for fucking sure. You shouldn't do that on your... Re- Dude. No, I'm just saying... I played like five right, years no, 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 on no, my recalibration mi- account. <laughs> right. And this, but I, this is what I'm saying is like when I go and I'm like, all right, I'm at my peak. I'm feeling good. Just make good. a new account. You're only on 40 games. <laughs> make another account. Just, just know no. that one's already... No. Are you at like 2,900 estimated? It's uh, it's 31 right That now. estimated, contrary to what Ursi says, because his estimated is like 1,400 MMR... Uh, it's actually oh pretty God. accurate. Okay, it's actually I, really accurate. Well, I uh, I'm only e- especially the closer you get to calibration, and yeah. once you're calibrated, and it, like, yeah, I have like a hundred discrepancy. Like, I am a 3,700 player, and it estimates me at 36, and that has to do with probably the last five games I was top MMR, and I was playing with people that were like 3,600. Sure, I regardless, especially for an account where you only play solo. Yeah, and I have only been... I have strictly then th- adhered then to only is, playing Then solo. that is right. With In Ursi's case, he plays with a wide variety of MMRs, so his will be skewed. But if you were only sure. playing with your you know solo and th- thusly your peers... Well, but at the same time, I feel like that may not be entirely accurate either because I'm getting paired up with different parties. And if you're if it's performing an average, like it might be... The game might frequently be calibrating me at, say, 2,500 
and the overall average on the map it match is thirty, you know, three thousand. If you're invisible, is twenty five hundred. They're going to put you as close to twenty five hundred as possible. Yeah, right, but so here's my critique: mm-hmm. is that there is a potential for there to be. I would think that there's a potential for there to be as much of a variance as. Maybe at my stage, at least 500 MMR. I agree with you. The further I go, probably the closer it's going to get yeah, to that, the, that the correct average. The more games average. you play, of course, and it shows you the standard deviation on there if you hover over your yeah. estimated. Um, well, no, and I, 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 you know, I'll say Open Dota. Like, I mean, I, I've been enjoying the fuck out of. I love using Open it. Dota. Yeah, yeah. I, I, too. I Dota buff. I still love. Uh, I love them both. They work great. They're brother yeah, and sister different, to for me. different reasons. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So yeah, completely. Um, I, anyway. I check them both. Uh, let's close the show. We don't want to kill you with plugs, but we did get a new iTunes review. We have several that we have to read, actually, that we, okay, are, we are behind let's on. Let's get them. Um, let me tell let's you just go last. back and forth. Yeah, well, let me tell you the last one that I read so that you... Uh, so Shrek 2 on DVD was the last one, I'm pretty sure, that was read. N- no. Uh, you read on, Dot Win? Yeah, and Dot Pro, on the Dot Pro show, we read... Uh, Kelfa Grow and Dot Win? All right, sorry, i got to scroll down there to see if that's the right one. I think it's the one right after his, though, yes. So, oh, so buckle. Why does it always take so long to load them on the goddamn phone? I don't know. I mean, it's an Apple device, you know? Um, yeah, the last one that we read was A Year of Dot P. Okay, so we've got Kelfagro. So yeah. I'll, uh, we'll go back and forth. All right. Uh, podcast is great, and the community is even better. I've learned so much in the time I've listened. Also, Proudland should be every day, not Monday or Friday. Uh, five stars, great podcast. Thank you so much. Uh, we actually were implementing this change. Proudland will be every day now. Yep. Goodbye, folks. Yep. See ya. See ya. See ya later, <laughs> loser. No, you're going to get it every Monday, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, you got to deal with once a week. We get You leave them wanting more is what we were told. So. Huh. Yeah. Right? I don't know why. I don't know why. Proud bothers the fuck out of me, dude. I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. No, you guys have the weirdest bromance ever these days. Uh, all right, engaging, informative, funny says Asu Buckle. Asu Buckle. This podcast has it all. Not just for new players. I have been playing Dota casually for three years. Recently, I decided I wanted to play at a higher level, and it quickly became apparent that I would not get better without investing some time learning. As a husband and father with a full time gig, time is at a premium. This format is perfect for me. I can listen to great advice while going about my day. The way the hosts structured the program, you get bite-sized pieces of information that are easy to understand, presented in an entertaining way, and often mind-blowing. The hosts are all personable, relatable, real people with real lives. My MMR. (laughs) I I go in a closet where I power down much like Bender. Uh, (laughs) And he dreams in ones and zeros. Sometimes there's a two. And, it, and I wake up in a robot oily sweat. Uh, my MMR is already rising. My level of play has gotten noticeably better. And most importantly, I am once again enjoying the game without feeling lost. Do Aww. yourself a favor and check out a few episodes to form your own opinion. Thank you, Asu Buckle. Thank Osu you so Buckle. much. 145 minute bot match by Video Joe. <laughs> this one's great. I play other MOBAs and I had a long drive. So I thought I would see what Dota 2 was all about. Your, pod, your podcast came up and I listened to several episodes. It encouraged me to download the game where I proceeded to play a bot match for 145 minutes. I'm not sure how many more two-hour matches I'm going to have, but I can tell you I have a lot to learn. Thanks for creating the show. I will be sure to keep listening. You won't have many more of those, I promise. <laughs> I, have, I, I hope so. <laughs> I hope not. But hey, you'll, you'll, you'll get it quick. Uh, Dota 2 advice, metagame analysis, and something that my phone cuts off. And pro scene news is just the beginning. Uh, Defense of the Patient. Oh, this is by Ike. Ooh, speaking by of 101. 73. Oh, really? Is that yep. what that is? Yep. Oh, good for you, binary loser. I believe uh, it's 73. Defense Ike's of the Patients is a fantastic podcast supported by a great community. The team puts forth lots of work every week to post five, five podcasts a week. In addition, they host in houses, live call ins, replay reviews, and other community engagement efforts. The podcasters are committed to building a community and providing excellent content to players of all skill levels. I highly suggest listening in and trying more than one episode. Each daily episode had different formats and hosts. Some of them are really funny, too. 
Not Some the ones with Cyphus. Eh. <laughs> okay. No, you're um, the Although we are still no, God no. Um, Who's the funniest then? Uh, Me? I, no, I, I'd say Proud. No, I, yeah, he's pretty quick witted. Do that. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, pretty bro. sure I'm funnier than Proud. <laughs> Let's take a vote because my ego can. Okay, not everybody take a in the like room. Uh, proud, <laughs> Proud wins. Oh, yeah, man. pulled the room. He um, is really clever. <laughs> that yeah, he sucks. Is. He's quick. He's quick. Oh, I try harder than him. Yeah, too. I know. That's the saddest thing about oh, it. Man. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, cool. we, at some point, we, you and I. So let's. We we got to sit down. We got to go through. So fo- I know we down. blitzed. I know. You don't need I know. I mean, to. independently, outside of a podcast. <laughs> I'm sitting down right now. So uh, <laughs> we blitzed through a lot of reviews, there, folks. Thank you for leaving us reviews. Like we said at the top of the show, it is honest reviews. We read them on the show. Honest reviews, please. and it's and it in your honest review. No matter what you rate us, and we've had a couple of four stars. Some of them from show hosts themselves. Yeah. And the, you know, that is really the best way to help the show for free is just log into an iTunes account and leave a review. Now, that being said, you and I have got to sit down because we owe people from other countries a read of oh their reviews. Gosh. And yes. there are a so, lot of them out there. Or or everybody in all those other countries could <laughs> write in complaint emails to iTunes saying, why do we have to change the country to read your review? Well, because we have different rankings. In fact, the ranking that you see there for us, Defense of the Patients, oh, is we're States. in the United States. We're the, yeah. we're thirty third in the U S. We may not be thirty oh, third elsewhere. That's true. Oof. Or we might be higher elsewhere. We should check Sweden. Oh yeah, or Australia, really, yeah. or, New or Zealand. Australia, or New Zealand. Yeah. yeah, we should check there. Or Canada. Canada is a yeah, good maybe market. Canada. Yeah. Well, although I think Canada is in North America, and I think I well, I want to say it oh Canada is included. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll look it up. <laughs> anyway, folks. So I, our apologies to no, our, it's just the United States. our international listeners outside the U.S. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will f- we are going to read those reviews, and some of them I know are quite old. And our, our apologies for not getting to them beforehand is just one of those things where you don't think about checking iTunes from other. We're twenty ninth now. Cool. <laughs> what? Screenshot we that are, one. We are above. Keep going until we. <laughs> we are above IGN, and we are well above, one IGN. IGN does a show about podcasts. Insta- Sweet. First time I screenshot that one. Oh, damn. <laughs> What's happening to us? Are we... F- no, I'm not going to say that. No, nope. you already... Yep, you already, yep, you already sound we, like a conceited asshole. Are we uh, fallible? Yes. Yes. We are totally <laughs> fallible. Anyway, thank you all for listening. I I'm going to plug the show, and I'm going to close no, this plug out. plug Patreon, because that's a big... So we are hiring somebody... Um, once again, our, we, our budget like is, is zero. We, we got a, an, an investor, a very small amount for a very small amount of ownership in the company. It was to help us update our website. If we're being completely honest with yeah. you. Um, Which and we know is in dire straits. It's dismal. Uh, it's terrible. So, uh, the Patreon is going to be, uh, a main source to cover the show and to hire a person you all love. I promise you love this person because I said so. Well, don't oversell it. So <laughs> please, if you have anything, like I said, you can either donate Chick-fil-A sandwiches or don't just forego getting two Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Just get one. It's going to be healthier for you. And you can take that money and donate on defense, uh, Patreon.com. Nobody but slash you defense the patient. likes Chick-fil-A that much. People like Chick-fil-A. It's it's probably the best sandwiches, best chicken sandwich you can get in a fast food place. <laughs> okay, Ricky. Um, <laughs> like from Trailer Park yeah, Boys? That's how that felt like a Ricky. Probably the best chicken sandwich. It, <laughs> yes. it sounded like a Ricky. All right, thing. go ahead and close this. Uh, if you guys want to find us, we're at defenseofthepatients.com. But They've don't had enough sh- plugs. <laughs> Find us a Patreon as well. Email us your questions. So I'm going to do a series of plugs here. They're very important. Very important. Okay? First. We cover it on Patreon. Defense of the patients at gmail.com. You need to hit us up with your Tuesday Q&A questions. We got a backlog. We're working Dude, through them. We're almost out of them, though. We could use another series of questions for the Tuesday q and I'm going to do drums. You could also leave us a pre-recorded question. This is something we're going to try to implement here on the next this upcoming the episode. You. I it is more distracting than it's pacing. To pace you. It is way more distracting <laughs> you than pacing. Uh, if you've got a way to record your voice and you want to send it to us, send it to defense of the patients at gmail dot com and leave a voicemail. Or yes, Roland, ding 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 four one zero seven one five zero. That's eight 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 four one zero seven one five zero. Call, leave us a voicemail, and we'll we it, it <laughs> sends us the MP three file automatically, and we'll just. 
Work Blip, internet magic blip and, and blop we'll, and drip and drop. We'll hear your question. And for the, so for those of you outside of the U.S. or in different time zones where it doesn't work for you to tune in at 9 Eastern uh, on Monday nights to ask your question live, you can send your pre-recorded question that way, still wind up on the show, and uh, I, I want to say still be entered into the drawing for the $20 Steam gift card at the end of the night. Flip and blop and yeah. dip and drop and go ahead and close this before we lose any more I, I was looking for your confirmation on that yes. one. Yes. yes. $20 Steam gift card eligible if you Steam leave a voicemail card. or send a pre-recorded. We just, we just got a bunk load of them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, They're all bunk. And then follow us on Twitter, <laughs> at dot P underscore does show. Does that mean it doesn't work? No. Yeah, it does. Bunk is bad. Don't oh. scratch those. That's how we tell if we've given them okay, away Okay, I'm going to give them away on <laughs> air. In the future, yes, we are. But on the Tuesday show. Uh, no, so, but you, if you give the code away, then anybody could just type it in. Yeah, that's right. Okay. okay. All right. That's it. That's all the show. That's all she wrote. For those of you listening uh, that are patrons and that have not subscribed to us yet on pay or have not supported us yet on Patreon, if you do subscribe or support us on Patreon right now, you can still get in in time to hear the roughly February fifteenth release no, date. Not roughly. It will be released on the fifteenth and at the end of the month. Right. So we get two episodes a month. Uh, that Help are us ex- hit that exclusive, a exclusive to Patreon patrons, and uh, we'll we'll. All, all fresh content that only you guys will hear. Yep. So tune in there. I think that's going to do it. Until next time, this is Cyphus for Roland and Team Liquid versus Team Bears. Go check that out. Really good match. Then good luck and Godspeed. <laughs>